for my ground station I have this FPV box that I've made it has the CTEC 10 inch monitor that is connected to my receiver and power box in this um, ground station so 4S 10,600 milliamp our battery pack that I have been using on my old place before now it's just powering this ground station and also you I have this power box that I installed on this ground station so it has this main switch another switch for the video receiver and for this eagle eyes tracker diversity module and another switch for this uh, 5.8 gigahertz relay so from 1.3 gigahertz system I've been able to pass on the video signal to my goggles or my other FPV monitor that operates on the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum also I've added this Ishin Pro DVR to record the video from my flights apparently I will be replacing this with power play motion RC power play because I've heard that it's a good DVR and can record at higher bit rates here the Eagle Eyes diversity module is made by Eagle Tree one of those pioneers of the flight controllers in the RC world apparently they have already shut down their company so I'm still lucky to have this module this can perform as a, an antenna tracker module so you just have to add servos here but it would only work with Eagle 3 vector flight controller OSD systems so if it's not being used as a tracker module then it can be used as a diversity module it takes in two video inputs and it can split the video signal to four outputs so you have three here and another one here so basically you can split it without uh, degrading the video quality okay, so the one of the output is connected to the 5.8 er, gigahertz um, VTX that I, have, that I have here so since that is a 5.8 gigahertz VTX I installed a fan to keep it cool it's just a rubber data dipole for the 5.8 gigahertz and another output module output of the diversity module is going to this Asian Pro DVR so this is for recording the flight and of course another output goes to the monitor itself for the inputs to this Eagle Eyes module I have two ready-made RC video receivers one of which is inside this smaller ground station relay box that I have made so I'm carrying this around when I don't intend to do extra long-range flight or if I'm just going to fly uh, short to mid range so this relay station box is sufficient enough it has its own DVR own output I just want to connect it to an LCD monitor or to my goggles directly through wire so this is enough it has its own um, voltmeter to display the voltage of the battery and an auxiliary XT60 port on top so this is for powering my crossbow antenna tracker so I have this installed on my tripod so the tracker is on the tripod itself and underneath it, it has this relay box so I can strap it on a tripod too and connect the power or the battery on this XT60 port for everything so since it's also a relay it has its own 5.8 gigahertz VTX it needs its own cooling system so I've installed here a fan so if I'm going to open up this box to show you what's inside okay, so here's the Retimid RC 1.3 gigahertz video receiver this is a good one it has compact tuner and good soft filter so the outputs from the ready-made RC is being fed to this 5.8 MHz 
25 milliwatt uh, video transmitter and also split into this Asian Pro DVR. So apparently, uh, there is some big video signal losses because um, I, I just splitted the wire unlike when I used this Eagle Eyes diversity module. And inside this box, there's a PDB here to split the power to the um, video transmitter to the Asian Pro DVR and also to this auxiliary XT60 port. Now, I powered this um, relay box with at least 4S. So with 4S, I have to use a step down, which is a 12 volt regulator to, to reduce that voltage down to 12 volts since I'm powering my tracker with a 12 volt supply. So this one is outputting 12 volts here. The ready-made RC receiver takes its power from the power distribution board. It has its own 12 volt deck and a bunch on the side is intended to turn on and turn off the 5.8 gigahertz relay and also the fan on the side. So the cooling fan uh, provides airflow on all these components inside this box. So if I'm using a tracker, I just mount this on a tripod and connect this antenna tracker, this XT60 port and the antenna to this SMA connector. Okay. So if I'm not using tracker, I just put on here a circular polarized antenna or a straight dipole antenna here or monopole antenna rather for short to mid-range flights one of the receiver is inside this smaller relay box the other video receiver is mounted on the back side of this bigger antenna which is a vast pepper box extreme so this is also operating at 1.3 gigahertz spectrum you can see the SMA coax, rather the coax of the antenna running to this connector. This is supposed to be mounted on a tripod, not on the tracker because this is too heavy for the tracker. Lastly, I have this My Dream Crossbow Mini Antenna Tracker. It tracks very well. I have added this NASA GPS compass module to facilitate positioning or home positioning prior to doing flights. It is being fed by Mavlink or Crossfire data that is being passed through these Bluetooth modules. So I'm using this module for Dragonlink setups and another module for Crossfire setups. So you can see I have the 3D printed mounting for this antenna. This one came from True RC, the Crosshair 1.3 GHz circular polarized antenna, and I'm using the RFCT1. The SMA connector is extended to up to this length. So this, this can be connected to the small relay box that I have made. The receiver is inside this box. I can remove this antenna from the antenna tracker and fold this carbon spar for the GPS so I can pack it nicely on my ground station box and have this smaller relay box fitted inside and also this crosshair antenna tracker uh, crosshair antenna packed within this ground station box. I can keep all these wires on a smaller bag if I want to and everything is contained in this ground station box that I carry if I'm doing long range mapping or long range flights. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching guys. I'll post all the links for the 3D printed uh, components and also for the equipment that I've been using on this ground station system.